The Genesis Cloud CX Certified Professional, Consolidated, GCPGCX, exam is one of the most important Genesis Certified Professional certification exams for a successful IT career. Professionals are enthusiastic about building a strong career by passing the Genesis GCPGCX exam and are looking for suitable Genesis GCPGCX exam questions to ensure their success. KillTest has brought the required Genesis GCPGCX test questions to help professionals get well prepared for the GCPGCX Genesis Cloud CX Certified Professional. Consolidated Exam. KillTest offers GCPGCX exam questions for the Genesis Cloud CX Certified Professional. Consolidated Exam in two easy formats. PDF and Practice Test Engine. This provides flexibility for professionals to choose the format that suits them best. The PDF format allows for easy access and can be studied anytime, anywhere. The practice test engine provides a simulated exam environment, allowing professionals to practice and assess their readiness for the actual exam. KillTest assures professionals that they will pass their Genesis GCPGCX exam on the first try. By using their efforts and time in the right way and preparing for the GCPGCX Genesis Cloud CX Certified Professional, consolidated exam properly with Kill Test GCPGCX exam questions, professionals can increase their chances of success. However, if they fail in the Genesis GCPGCX exam, Kill Test offers a 100% money back guarantee. This ensures that professionals can claim a refund if they are not satisfied with their results. By using Genesis GCPGCX exam questions from Kill Test, professionals can ensure that they are well prepared and increase their chances of passing the exam on their first attempt. Come here to read the GCPGCX free exam questions online to check quality first. 1. Which of the following entities is used to ensure that people within your organization have the rights and permissions that they need within Genesis Cloud CX? A. Work groups B. Rooms C. Groups D. Roles Answer. D. 2. Which of the following are an evaluation methods? Choose 3. A. All skills matching. B. Best available skills. C. Bullseye matching. D. Disregard skills. E. Agent availability. Answer. A. B. C. 3. What is the distinguishing feature between queues and groups? A. Queues can have agents as members, while groups cannot. B. Both queues and groups have the same ACD capabilities. C. Unlike groups, queues allow for more complex scenarios like skill-based routing. D. Queues can be used in architect flows, while groups cannot. Answer. C. 4. Select the categories of ACD skills that can be added to a user or an interaction. Choose 2. A. Language B. Roles C. Skills D. Q. Answer. A. C. 5. Which feature enables a voice interaction to interrupt an email interaction? A. Utilization BACD skills C. Emergency routing D. Scripts Answer A. 6. Bullseye routing method relaxes the required skills as the selection pool expands from one ring to the next. What is the maximum number of rings that can be defined for bullseye routing? A8 B6 
C4 D2 Answer A 7 Which role is automatically assigned to a new user A user B communicate user C admin D employee Answer B 8 Select the features available in Genesis Cloud CX Architect. Choose 3. A. Play pre-recorded messages. B. Convert text to speech. C. Configure cues. D. Create skills. E. Receive and route calls. Answer. Abe. 9. Which of the following statements about scripts is true? A. Scripts can be used for inbound interactions only. B. Scripts are only used to configure flows when setting up architect. C. Scripts can be used in all types of interactions. D. Scripts may be used for outbound dialing campaigns only. Answer. C. 10. Which of the following components can be added to scripts? Choose 4. A. Visual Basic Control. B. Text. C. Call Flow. D. Checkbox. E. Web Page. F. Image. Answer. B. D. E. F.